Elastic recoil, adding ridiculous power to your hooks using some simple muscle science. So look, this applies more so to hooks than any other strike, but there are other circumstances in which it can, uh, can apply. The reason why it works so well for hooks is because a hook is actually a, a pulling punch, more or less. Like a, a, a straight punch, you're basically pushing your hand out. Your hook, you end up pivoting your body and then like ripping your hook kind of along behind you, at least if you're doing it correctly. When I first teach people hooks, they screw up monumentally because they want to do too much. They want to, they want to like, you know, push their arm sideways or they, they hit and their chest is like completely flexed. You don't want to flex your chest. You want to stretch your chest like a rubber band. Thus the term elastic recoil. So let's say I'm throwing a left hook. I've stepped in, I dip my right shoulder forward so that I have room to pivot. This is covered in the basic hook lesson. When I step in and I start my pivot, I don't want to move my hand initially. I want to leave it behind. Now in that moment, uh, right there, my chest has stretched to a ridiculous degree, not unlike a big, huge, thick rubber band that builds up a ton of elastic energy which is going to snap into place. Take a look at this big old fat rubber band that I have right here. When I build up potential energy by yanking on this thing, it yanks my hands right back down. Now hold on a second. Watch as I yank on this rubber band. You're going to notice that the snap back down is like three times as fast as when I yank up. Snap. Snap. That snap is when your elastic recoil is at its most powerful. That's the moment when you actually do want to flex your chest. So I build up the potential energy, I build up my twist, I get the stretch. As soon as that thing can't stretch anymore and then it's snapping back into place, that's when I'll make the looping portion of my punch. Stretch snap, okay? Elastic recoil. You actually have to relax your chest. You have to leave your arm behind. Your lower body moves first in a hook for the most powerful hook you can throw. It's like pivot, boom, boom, ha, ha. You can build a ton of power just by pivoting your body, letting your chest stretch, and doing little stuff like this. Then you do it in a heavy bag. One, two, one, two. Now it doesn't look like that when you're actually throwing the punch. It, it seems as though it's all happening in one specific movement, but it's really not. And if you're not feeling a stretch in your chest, you are cannibalizing your own hook power while also using more energy than you have to. You're flexing, you're spending energy to eliminate your power. It doesn't make any sense. So elastic recoil will teach you that. Now there's drills that you can do. Like for example, if I was to tie this rubber band to a post and hold it right here so that it's stretching and then the rubber band holds me back, I build the stretching force and the dynamic force in my chest so on and so forth. You can also put your hand on a wall and do the same thing. In fact, I'll put in a clip from that right now. This is going to be a good anchor for my fist. So I'm gonna put my hand on the side of this pad. This is a squishy pad. You can use a wall, I don't care what you use. But I put my fist here and then I'm gonna pivot. Okay, so now you get the idea of basically how to, how to train this, how to get used to your muscles stretching. And you always want to think about your point of impact on your hook. Your chest should be through, your, your body should be stretching pretty much the moment that your hook is landing. You might want to land a, a, an inch or two in front of that because you started your, full, your pull, but for the most part, the hook is going to be dragged behind you. Again, a pulling punch. I hope you enjoyed this lesson on elastic recoil. There's other science type lessons up in here, like maximum fiber recruitment, which I apply to the cross. In the meantime, check out more lessons and have fun knocking people out in one single punch. Hey, if you want more videos on how to beat the crap out of people using different MMA styles, I have an entire video series free at howtofightnow.com. So you can either click the link in the video description box or type that crap up in your browser. Either way, go to the website, the videos are free, and if you have any questions, you can ask me in the forum. I'll see you there. Yeah.